even eons can be killed. You know, even eons can be killed. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's not what we want. I just want to tell stories from the past. Stories about eons that have fallen. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One. Paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Cienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. So, the Cienjo too are engaged in this process. As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Eon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Hmm. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> uh, did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky! Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean... The Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? 
Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lo Fu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lo Fu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to La Fu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron Hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Hm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron Hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Am I coming up with a plan again? Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now, so why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? Oh, that massive tree has suddenly sprung to life! It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the General. 
Please. We can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing Outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. This is no order, honored guests. I am merely stating what needs to be done should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xian Zhou is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sian Zhou's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron Spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. One zero one zero one zero is the way. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. 
Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. <gasps> that's it! First you arrive out of the blue, then the general recruits you to the cause. It's like the stories where Imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Master Gong Shu. Are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? That's not how it works. The research comes first here. I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. You don't have to believe us. 
The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead! Stay away! If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Uh, uh, hold on! Where's... Let us explain! We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me! Just passing by. Stumbled in! Door wide open! Hmm. Within Commission grounds today was sown. An evil spun by hands unseen unknown. No longer. If the security mechanisms teach you a lesson, these robots will. Ready for another? Let's be friends! <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Better late than now. <laughs> Fight is gone! Enemy data secure. Netmarkers activated. Time for good old counterattack! You know nothing of the what survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Golden Cloud Toad, Illumination Dragonfish, <laughs> are you all right? Wake up, I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <laughs> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. Uh, you didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Uh. How do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? <sighs> this guy is pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. Uh, really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots, it was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on. 
<laughs> Through here! Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The shifting screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed. With limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither, but... Through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. How observant. You would make an excellent student. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. <laughs> Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? Yeah. Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the tree demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the dell collapsing? Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Ship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace! Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. <sighs> What kind of...
kind of monster is this? Miraculous! It creates life at will! Such incredible power! Oh, we're in trouble now! Evil's begun! You can still walk away. Calm your body and mind. Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah! Stand down. It's regarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. for the support. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. Show is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the long wave species on the Xian Zhou all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Xian Zhou don't have abilities like this. Huh. As long as it's there. We can't get any closer. I wonder... The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh, yeah! It can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the Arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the General asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Uh, the Artisanship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire. Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. 
Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground! Correct! Keep going! 